Hi friends, I'm Miss Kim and I'm here for story time at home today. I'm so happy that you are here with me. Today I'm going to read you a book about art. And the reason I chose a book about art is because um, our winter reading challenge is all about art. So we're going to share this book today, Maybe Something Beautiful. And this book is written by Isabel Compoy and Teresa Howell, and it is illustrated by Rafael Lopez. And this book is about how art transformed a neighborhood. It's really actually about a true story. So let's read this together, and I am going to do my best to make sure you can see all the beautiful pictures. Okay, here we go. Maybe something beautiful. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle and draw and color and paint. And every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school, one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. And she gave a flower to Ms. Lopez, the lady with the sparkling eyes. She likes to share her art. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and he peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Hmm. Look here. And just like that, he dipped his brush into the paint and bam, pow, the shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom and the man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the city. You see that? That's a big page. <laughs> Who are you? Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. So he handed Mira a brush and said, then come on. He's inviting her to help paint. That's awesome. Mira dipped her brush in the loudest color that she saw. Yowie! The wall lit up like sunshine. Beautiful. And as the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. And soon Mr. Sachs joined in, and then came others, and everyone painted to the rhythm, salsa, merengue, and bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha, and the whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until, oh, well, they're having so much fun, until the policeman walked up. Look at her face. She looks a little worried, doesn't she? Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her brush down. 
Oh, she thought they were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat <clears throat> and then paused. May I paint with you? He asked. <gasps> so Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. He wanted to paint too. Look. Teachers and papas jumped in. Babies did too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread throughout the streets and so did joy. Oh, they're all having so much fun making things beautiful. Look at that. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like a string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches, they decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. And together they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide and then he pulled everything together in, in a big sweeping motion. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. Look how beautiful. And when he was finished, Mira added one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. Do you see her bird? So like I was telling you, this story is actually about a real thing that happened in a neighborhood. And the people all got together and they decided that it would be nice to brighten up their, their community and their neighborhood by painting some murals. So maybe, maybe just maybe, one day you can do that in your community to make things more beautiful by using art. Thanks for sharing my story with me. I'm so glad you were here, here, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.